Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back. Today's video is going to be a basic breakdown of the Monster Rancher DX starters. Within this video, we're gonna go over the selections you're given, a little information and trivia for each, their stats, and some of their subbreeds. After you're done watching this video, let me know if you wanna see a similar video for Monster Rancher 2 DX. That game actually has a rotating starter pool, so it would be really fun to do something like this for that too. But with all that said, make sure to sit back, relax, and let's dive right in. All right, so upon booting up Monster Rancher 1 and heading to the market, you're given the option to acquire one of three starters. Now, it is of note that you don't actually have to take one. You have the database at your disposal. So while the three starters were likely in part put in as a failsafe for people if they didn't have any CDs or only had a few, they've definitely lost significance due to the amount of discs that we now have access to. But nevertheless, they are still very useful for newcomers to gain a general idea of how the game works and how different monsters react differently to different raising styles. Anyways, first up is Dino, a monster whose name is extraordinarily clever and rooted in a deep meaning. It's literally just a short form of Dino. But regardless of that, Dino is actually quite popular, so much so that after it was cut, or I guess transformed into Zoom, another monster we will be talking about when we do do that Monster Rancher 2 video, it actually was brought back as a Zoom subbreed in Monster Rancher 4 due to its popularity. Anyways, in Monster Rancher 1, Dino is considered to be one of the most basic monsters and is a great choice for beginner breeders. It's got relatively rounded stats stats and is pretty easy to raise. Here you can see the different dino subbreeds courtesy of legendcup.com. My favorite one is definitely Black Rex over here. Next we got Tiger, a design that I quite like personally, but tell me in the comments, is there actually a reason they named this thing Tiger? It's literally a wolf, right? Like that does not look like a tiger to me. Its Japanese name translates to Thunderfang, so why tiger in English? Anyways, this ice-yielding beast is known by some as the Tiger of the Wind, again for some weird reason, and has appeared in every mainline Monster Rancher game. The tiger has emphasis both on speed and special attacks whilst having the ability to utilize wind, ice, and electricity in combat, and because of its high speed stat, it ends up being quite slippery in battle. Here you can see the various subbreeds for tiger, some of the cool ones being the dino crossbreed, this ice one, and of course, my favorite, Demon Lord Tiger over here. Oh my god, Ed, you always like the edgy- <laughs> Alright, last but not least, we got our boy Suezo, the number one one-eyed abomination north of the equator and perpetuator of the Uchiha Massacre. But in all seriousness, definitely check out this video that I did covering on how to get an OP Suezo and make quick money stacks with it. Anyways, like I said, Suezo is considered by most to be the Monster Rancher mascot, and for good reason. Its simple and honestly kind of weird design makes it really lovable and that coupled with the plethora of subtypes makes it quite the special monster. Suezo are also said to be very intelligent but neurotic and mischievous in nature. They're more difficult to raise as they can sometimes be more preoccupied with whatever goes on in that giant head of theirs rather than training. Nevertheless, it has a stat build that focuses on intelligence and skill but has a weakness in health or life if you will. It also spits on people so that's pretty good. Anyways, here you can see the various subbreeds, including this really cool golem hybrid, and of course, the best Suezo, Demon King himself. For those of you who were around for a Monster Rancher launch stream, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about here. Stream's still up if you want to check it out, link below. And there you go, guys, a fun little breakdown for the three starters of Monster Rancher 1 DX. Let me know in the comment section which starter is your favorite and which subbreed of that starter is your favorite as well. Also, like I said earlier, let me know if you want to see me do the same thing for Monster Rancher 2. I do think videos like this are quite fun to make. Now, if you are a fan of Monster Rancher or just the monster taming genre in general, definitely subscribe to the channel. A lot more videos are coming. Special thanks to our patrons, especially our mythical backers, Steel Case and Jim Hamilton. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.